What's up, everybody? Hippie Vapes here. And I'm wanting to talk vape shop etiquette. <laughs> Watch out. This is going to be a good one. <laughs> oh, man. This happened, what I'm fixing to talk about, happened probably maybe six months ago or so. And it's been stewing in me for a long time now <laughs> i'm trying i've been sitting here thinking how i would talk about this and how i would bring it up and everything and it's really sad you know when a company a vape shop a brick and mortar store <clears throat> has bad customer service i mean it's really really bad you know I can deal with someone's attitude. That doesn't bother me. But when you blatantly sell someone that knows nothing about vaping whatsoever and still smoking cigarettes and you sell them something like this, Limitless XL from iJoy, this big beast of a daggone tank, I mean, that was made back in 2016, okay? And this happened like six months ago, all right? Now, I have no complaints about the mod, but the first question that a vape shop owner should ask is, how long have you been vaping? That's the first question a vape shop manager, owner, whatever, should ask. Because there's a lot of new vapors out there who really don't know what in the world they are doing. They just started vaping and, you know, don't know jack. So, they this customer, let's say, okay, it, the reason why I'm saying because it, it happened to one of the members of my own family, for God's sake. Walks in the deck on vape shop. Ask him, said, he told him, and it's probably a little bit my fault too, because I told him he needed a rebuildable atomizer. But that's all I said. That, you know what? I wasn't thinking. Well, he went to the vape shop and they saw him coming a mile away, man. They socked it to him, gave him this daggone piece of junk, if you ask me. Because I know, because I got this one, <laughs> that's a really piece of junk. If you ask me, the deck on 510 shorts out on it and everything else. And then this cloud beast, it just freaking sucks up some juice. And then whenever you get to the pre-built coals or your decks or whatever, you know, someone that doesn't know anything about vaping, you know, they're sitting here looking at this like, oh my word, you know. And this right here, you can see right straight through it. So your spit back on this coil will just go straight through the bottom of that that gone tank and just leak all over your brand new mod, get all in your stream, and about three months later, your mod done went dead. And you're looking at you, what the hell? I just spent a hundred and fifty, almost two hundred damn dollars at the vape shop, you know, on this stuff. <sighs> Calm down, Tony. You know, they saw him coming a mile away, and they threw this one right up his alley because they didn't ask him the first thing. Did he know how to build? Do you know anything about vaping? You know, how long have you been vaping? Uh, you know what I'm saying? I mean, just shame, shame, shame. Bad customer service. And I'm going to call him out. Vape escape. Okay? Uh right here in Montgomery, Alabama. I mean, come on guys, step up your game because, I mean, people that are new to vaping that don't know, you know, you're supposed to, some states have different laws, okay? Some states, you know, like, they're trying to do the flavor ban, which I don't see how in the hell they're going to do that. You know what I'm saying? And every state has their own laws. At one point here in uh, Montgomery, Alabama, the vape shops couldn't even show you how they couldn't touch your tank mod or nothing they had to stop the people building the coals for people in the vape shops you see i remember the days you used to go in there and they 
you'd sit right in front of them. They'd build a coal right in front of you, show you actually how to do it and everything. You know, they actually talk to you and show you things. And when you just go out there and just throw something like this at them, says, here you go. You're, it's all about that almighty dollar, which everybody's after that money. But still, you got to have customer service down pat people come on you know uh at least sit down and explain you know a little bit about the deck on tank and everything you know now i want to praise another vape shop i was sitting i don't go to vape shops hardly ever anymore because if i vape something i'm doing it myself i'm mixing my own e-juice you know i don't have to buy that premium stuff that's why i like diy well, I'm sitting here waiting on a buddy of mine, you know, to get an errand done. And I go into this other vape shop here in Montgomery, Alabama, Smooth Vapor. And uh, I go in there and I sit down, you know, I'm looking at all their stuff in their shop and everything. Everything's nice and clean and neat, you know, and everything's presentable. Salesmanship was just on point, man. I got a shout out to... Jeremy Griffin, man, for real, man. You you know your stuff and you help customers out. You know, uh, I commend you on that, sir. And I was sitting there in Smooth Vapor on Atlanta Highway, in Montgomery, Alabama, and run into none other but B.J. Holland, a buddy of mine from Hippie Vapes Group in Facebook. And I was sitting there just vaping away, talking smack, you know. And all of a sudden. This guy sitting next to me goes, damn, I've heard your voice somewhere before. And I'm like, well, I do have a channel on YouTube. You're Hippie Vapes. You're Hippie Vapes. I know you, man. You're cool as hell. I know you. I watch a lot of your videos. I was like, man, thanks a lot, dude. We just sat there and had a good conversation. So Smooth Vapor, two thumbs up. What's up, BJ Holland? Jeremy's Griffin, man, keep up the good work, you know. But the other vape shop, man, come on now. There's other vape shops, they'll leave you real quick. You got to have good customer service to keep your customers coming in. You know, vaping's getting kind of tight right now. So, and a lot of people are looking up to the vape shops, the people that don't know nothing about vaping, for guidance and help, you know. I mean, there's so many videos out there, everybody that's watching this. There's so many videos, educational videos out there that you can go out and watch, okay? And teach you, learn your ohms law. If you're going to build your tanks, learn your ohms law. How, what size coil, what size wire, what kind of wire. There's actually a lot that goes into it. But once you get started, it's so easy it's just unbelievable and i mean like this is just 26 gauge 316 l uh wire from tempco i shoot i'm about seven wraps on each side this is the old velocity version too ohms out about a 0.25 ohm build in this little sucker man you know i mean that xl xl tank i mean See what I'm talking about? It just, mm -mm. and this big sucker, I, I had to tone back on it, that Dead Rabbit 25, man, it started guzzling up juice so that gone fast. So what I did, I raised the ohm of my build in there so it wouldn't freaking suck the juice up so that gone quick. But man, I tell you what, my favorite right now is this daggone dead rabbit squonk 22 millimeter single coal my word with a drip tip like this on it you talk about flavor for days on this thing daggone that stuff mm. and i'm just vaping at variable wattage too 4.1 volts my ohm is a 0.25 ohm build again. Man. Well, I just wanted to throw that little rant out there. You know, 
get it off my chest because it's been bothering the heck out of me. Hope everybody enjoyed that. Uh, you know, if you got questions, just ask. There, there's a lot of good people out there. I mean, you go in Fresh O3 and Saturday in. Uh, I haven't been in there because I've been too busy with the garden lately and everything. And taking care of my chickens. Getting in three eggs a day. I'm loving it. But, uh, you know, just keep up, you know, doing your research. That's the best way to learn on everything. And every tank you get, do your research. And look at reviews. Uh, DJ LSB Vapes, he does awesome reviews on every single product you can think of. GK Vapes, Mike Vapes, uh, you know, for, you know, there's so many, you know, I just can't name them all. I mean, uh, you know, the mixers, you know, like I said, Fresh O3, Wayne Walker. I mean, if you want to learn mixing, they got killer recipes. I got some good, that blue, I can't get enough of that daggone baby blue. I did the, oh my word, I got it in every single daggone thing I'm vaping on. This stuff so good. Mm, mm, mm. Well, y'all have a good one. And remember, keep on vaping. Stop all that nasty smoking because it's 4,000 chemicals in every single daggone cigarette you're smoking. It's nasty, nasty. So quit that smoking and go to vaping, man. So vape on. Peace, love, and harmony. See y'all on the next video. Have a good one. Later, y'all.